Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Mendelian Genetics and this is the part 4 of this series of videos on MCQs on Mendelian Genetics. So the first question of this video that is according to classical genetics which of the following statement is true and the options are option A that is recessive alleles are detected by the phenotype of the F1 generation option B the closer two genes are, the more frequently they recombine. Or option C, genes on different autosomes segregate independently. And the option D, gene on sex chromosomes segregate with the same pattern as autosomal genes. So the right answer about the classical genetics is option C, that is genes on different autosomes segregate independently so according to classical genetics which of the following statement is true that is option c so genes on different autosomes segregate independently okay so let's move on to question number 62 so philadelphia chromosome is generated by translocation between option a chromosome 18 and chromosome 6 option b chromosome 22 and chromosome 9 option c chromosome 22 and chromosome 3 option d chromosome 16 and chromosome 4 so which one is right answer so the option and the right answer is option b that is chromosome 22 and chromosome 9 is the right answer so philadelphia chromosome is generated by translocation between chromosome 22 and chromosome 9 okay so let's move on to question number 63 that is a mechanism that can cause a gene to move from one linkage group to another is option a translocation option b inversion option c crossing over option d duplication so the right answer is option a that is translocation so a mechanism that can cause a gene to move from one linkage group to another is translocation so the next question is if four chromosomes synapse into a cross shaped configuration during meiotic phase the organism is heterozygous for a option a uh, par, uh, parasitic inversion or option b deletion option c translocation or option d paracentric inversion so the right answer is option C that is translocation. So if four chromosomes synapse into a cross shaped configuration during meiotic prophase, the organism is heterozygous for a translocation. Okay. So next question, next is question number 65. So retinoblastoma is caused by loss of both copies of RB gene in the chromosome band that is option a 13 p 11 option b 13 q 11 option c 13 q 14 or option d 21 q 14 so the right answer is option c that is 13 q 14 so retinoblastoma is caused by loss of both copies of rb gene in the chromosome band that is 13 q 14 okay so next question the next is in a trisomic individual, the number of chromosomes is option A, 2n minus 1, option B, 2n plus 2, option C, 2n plus 3, option D, 2n plus 1. So the right one is option D, that is 2n plus 1. So in a trisomic individual, the number of chromosome is 2n plus 1. Okay. So next is position effect. Sorry. Position effect is the result of option A mutations, option B deletions, option C inversions or option D transversions. So the right answer is option C that is inversions. So position effect is the result of inversions. Okay. Next question. Next is the bridge fragment configuration at anaphase 1 is characteristic of option A translocation heterozygote option b paracentric inversion heterozygote or p 
पेरिसेंट्रिक इनवर्शन हेट्रोजाइगोट दैट इज ऑप्शन सी और ऑप्शन डी डुप्लीकेशन हेट्रोजाइगोट सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज पैरासेंट्रिक इनवर्शन हेट्रोजाइगोट सो द ब्रिज फ्रेगमेंट कंफिगरेशन एट एन एफ एस वन इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ पैरासेंट्रिक इनवर्शन हेट्रोजाइगोट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखेंगे नेक्स्ट इज टू प्योर लाइन ऑफ कॉर्न हैव मीन कॉप लेंथ ऑफ नाइन एंड थ्री इंचेस रेस्पेक्टिवली टू नॉन एलिक जीन्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस स्ट्रेट सो ऑल एक्सिबिट एडिटिव जीन एक्शन सो क्रॉसिंग दिस टू लाइन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू प्रोड्यूस अ प्रोजेनी विथ मीन कॉप लेंथ इन इंचेस ऑफ ऑप्शन ए ट्वेल्व ऑप्शन बी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव ऑप्शन सी सिक्स और ऑप्शन डी टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो द राइट वन इज ऑप्शन C that is six. So crossing these two lines is expected to produce a progeny with mean cob length in inches of six. Okay. So next is question number seventy. That is in a dihybrid cross where capital A capital A and capital B capital B is crossed with small s small s small s small b small b. So in F two. progeny of capital a capital a capital b capital b and capital a capital a capital b small b capital a small a capital b capital b and capital a small a capital b small b occurs in the ratio of option a 1 is to 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 okay option b 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 or option c sorry this is c option c is 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1 Or option D, it is one is to two is to two is to four. So which one is the correct ratio? So the right answer is option D. That is one is to two is to two is to four is the correct ratio of this four progeny. Okay, in F2 generation. So let's move on to question number seventy one. So how many types of gametes will be produced by individuals of capital A capital A capital B small B small C small C genotype and the options are option a 2 option b 4 option c 6 option d 9 and the right one is option a it is 2 so two types of gametes will be produced by individuals of a capital a capital a capital b small b small c small c genotype okay <laughs> let's move on to question number 72 So, if Drosophila males of genotype capital 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 small a capital B small b are crossed with females of genotype capital a capital a capital B small capital B, what is the percentage of white eye wrinkled winged offspring in the first generation? That is a white eye. Sorry, small a is white eye. Capital A is red eye. capital b is smooth wing and small b is wrinkled wing here okay so the right ans uh, so the options are option a 0% option b 10% option c 20% option d 25% so the right answer is option a that is 0% so <clears throat> so the percentage of white eye wrinkled wing offspring in the first generation is 0% okay in this case of drosophila males of genotype okay so let's move on to question number 73 that is the condition in which there is one too many or one too few chromosome is called option a aneuploidy option b polyteen option c polyploidy option d monoploidy and the right one is option a that is aneuploidy so the condition in which there is one too many and one too few chromosomes is called aneuploidy okay so let's move on to question number 74 that is most cases of down syndrome are caused by the presence of a third copy of chromosome 21 associated with the chromosome 21 pair so this genetic condition known as trisomy 21 is caused by option a by a frame shift frame shift mutation or option b by chromosome non disjunction option c fragile x syndrome or option 
D chromosome translocation. So the right answer is option B that is chromosome non disjunction. So most cases of Down syndrome are caused by the presence of a third copy of chromosome 21 associated with the chromosome 21 pair. So this genetic condition known as trisomy 21 is caused by chromosome non disjunction. Okay. So next is question number 75. So people with Nile filter syndrome have 47 chromosomes. So including three sex chromosomes that is XXY. So that's why they have 47 chromosomes. So what is the term to describe the aberration that occurred during meiosis that result in abnormal chromosome number? And the options are option A crossing over, option B non disjunction, option C independent assortment or option D pairing of homologous chromosomes. So the right answer is option B that is non disjunction. So people with Nile Fenter syndrome which have 47 chromosomes including three sex chromosomes. What is the term to describe the aberration that occurs during meiosis that result in this type of abnormal chromosomal number that is the non disjunction. Okay. So next is question number 76 that is a person with Nile Fenter syndrome is considered a option a monosomic option b tri triploid option c trisomic option d deletion heterozygote and the right one is option c that is trisomic so a person with nile filter syndrome is considered a trisomic okay so next is question number 77 it is dhutra plant have been regenerated from another culture endosperm culture and embryo culture so their respective ploidy level will be option a n 2n and 2n that means n is uh, from anther culture and 2n <coughs> for endosperm culture and 2n for embryo culture so the next option b is n 3n and 2n option c that is n 2n and 3n respectively or option D 2n 2n and 2n respectively okay so the right answer is option B that is n 3n and 2n so dhutra plants have been regenerated from anther culture that is n and then endosperm culture that is 3n and embryo culture that is 2n so their respective ploidy levels will be n 3n and 2n okay so this is the correct one so let's move on to question number 78 it is match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the codes given below the list so the list 1 and this is the list 2 so here in list 1 p that is incomplete dominance q is codominance r is polygenes or s is complementary genes so which one is matched with human skin color which one is matched is purple color in maize due to anthocyanin or option three that is human beings belonging to ab blood group or option four that is pink flower is four uh, four o'clock plant so which one is the correct correct combination of these options so option a is p4 q3 r1 s2 option b p3 q4 r2 s1 option c p4 q3 r2 s1 or option d p3 q4 r1 s2 so the right one is option a that is p4 that means incomplete dominance is the pink flower in four o'clock plant and next q is three that is co-dominance is human being belonging to ab blood group is an example and r1 r1 r is one that is polygenes is human skin color responsible for human skin color and s2 that is complementary genes purple color in maize due to anthocyanin this is related to option two so this is the perfect match okay so let's move on to question number 79 it is which statement about down syndrome sorry which statement about down syndrome are correct 
and the statements are of statement p is the frequency increases dramatically in mother over age of 40 and q is the curse is a non disjunction when chromosome do not separate during the first meiotic division and the statement r is affected individual have an extra autosome and statement s is the long time lag between onset of meiosis in ovarian tissue and it completion at ovulation is most likely the reason for increased incidence in older mother and the options are option a p and s is the correct one or option b that is p q r is the correct one option c q r s is the correct one or option d p q r s all options are correct so the right answer is option d all these statements that is p q r and s is right or correct about the down syndrome okay so let's move on to the last question of this video that is question number 80 that is in mendel's experiment with garden p round seeded round seeds shape that is capital r capital r were dominant over wrinkle sheet that is smaller smaller and yellow uh, cyto cytoledon sorry uh, yellow co uh, cotyledons that is yy were dominant over green cotyledons that is small y small y so what are the expected phenotypes in f2 generation of capital R capital R capital Y capital Y into that is crossed with smaller smaller small y small y and the options are option a only wrinkled seed with green cotyledons or option b only wrinkled seed with yellow cotyledons or only round seed with green cotyledons or option d round seed with yellow cotyledons and wrinkled seed with yellow cotyledons so the right answer is option d that is round seed with yellow cotyledons and wrinkle seed with yellow cotyledons so this is about the about this expected phenotype in f2 generation of capital r capital r capital y capital y crossed with smaller small smaller small y small y okay so these are all 20 questions on mendelian genetics of this part 4 video okay so thank you for watching this video